Hi everyone, welcome to this game changing tutorial. I'm Ertan and today we're diving into the world of data analysis with a twist, no coding required. Well, we'll be using Gemini, an AI tool that turns your simple prompts into powerful data analysis actions, but all within Google Collab. In this session, we'll be analyzing student performance data from around the world and its relationship with various economic indicators to uncover fascinating insights. Now let's get started and see how Gemini can transform your data analysis experience. Here we are with the hands-on file, which will be available in the description below. And we will have two data sets here. The first one is OECD PISA data, uh, which contains results of worldwide study by OECD and measuring 15 year old school people's performance on math, science and reading. And it contains uh, these columns such as countries, subjects, uh, gender, year and PISA score. And second data set uh, is related to education and providing insight into economic uh, context in which PISA scores were achieved. Here are the columns we have, uh, for example, expenditure on education, GDP per capita, inflation, and the population density, tax revenue, and the, the, the name of the country, uh, year, uh, etc. In this analysis, we will perform comprehensive data analysis using Gemini in Collab without writing a single line of code. So we'll be doing this uh, analysis, uh, such as uh, we'll be doing first loading and inspecting our data, uh, basic descriptive statistics, handling missing values, correlation, trend analysis, uh, subject performance, you know, all these uh, topics will be uh, analyzed. Let's start by loading our data sets into uh, Collab, okay? So as you see, we have two data sets here. These are the links, okay? So normally you would write your code in a cell like this, okay? I'm going to just do show you how it works. Hello world. I'm going to click here, okay? I will just type here, I'm going to say load the data set, okay? Let me copy this link here with the link, okay? Let me put this one here. And I will hit enter now. Okay, you see? It gave me, it actually created all the codes needed here. And it first imported pandas because we'll be using pandas uh, for, for the analysis. As you see, it's reading the data here and then uh, gave it a variable. And then now here, uh, it's going to show us the first five rows in the data set. Okay, I'm going to click run here. Okay. So great, uh, our data set is loaded. We can see the structure of the first five rows here, and it's, it's giving us a clear picture of what we are working with, right? Now let's load the, the other data set, okay? So again, I'm going to create a generate here. So now this time, instead of saying specifically which data and which link to use, I'm going to just say, So as you can see, it understood that I, me, I refer to this data set. I didn't have to specifically mention the name and I didn't have to write uh, the, the link. It understood which data set I'm talking about and it gave me the data set and it gave a different um, variable. Let's run it. Okay, now we see the uh, top five rows of the 
other data set and we can see how it looks like and everything is working perfectly fine. Next, we will generate summary statistics for both data sets, okay? And I'm going to simply uh, ask, okay, copy and paste for PESA, okay? Okay, uh, this is the summary statistics of PESA. And let's do the same thing for economics. Let's add a new code. I will say for economics data set, data set. Okay. Okay, so these are the summary statistics of economics data set. Okay, so uh, the, the, the summary statistic give us a, a good sense of central tendencies and distributions in our data right so it helps us identify any potential outliers and anomalies but we will see it better when we have visualizations uh, later as you can see there like for example here there are 598 uh, rows okay this is the mean of the expenditure expenditure in, in education the maximum minimum and for each column uh, we have all this information for each um, numerical variable now that we loaded our data and checked the basic dis descriptive statistics uh, of both data sets, next we're going to handle the missing values in our data set. Here, let's check first the missing values in uh, PISA. Okay, check. There are, so in some columns there are auto missing data okay so for example alcohol cons consumption per capita and uh, it has a lot of missing values and second one is Gini index and expenditure so we know about the missing values next thing we're going to do is we're going to pre-process our data and and clean it and to to make sure it is ready for analysis okay so let's start with uh, PISA data set and take a look at the first row again all right so here we have uh, there are some problems here first of all we don't need this index column right we will drop this one so this uh, location subject gender time these columns will be converted to uh, categorical uh, variables okay because right now it sees time as a uh, as a numerical variable and we will uh, convert it so let's do it so here i have my prompt here uh all right copy and paste it here and enter okay yes okay that's great so as you see uh, location s type category and PISA subject category, gender category, time category, and and at the end it will show, give us the info. So we will see uh, the type of the variable. So uh, yes, location, subject, gender, and time are categorical variables, and value is false. Okay, that's great. So and now I'm going to rename this as year because time is not very descriptive. will be uh, renamed as country as well and we will see uh, the top five columns uh, as an example yes now we, we have country
index axis one which is uh, column and in place it can save all right so everything is perfect with our pesa okay now let's deal with the and sex as gender and country small case uh, I want to So we have here gender, country, and year, and one last thing uh, to do. for data analysis with our data set pre-processed and integrated and we're ready to dive into more advanced analysis this preparation ensures that our data is clean consistent and ready for in-depth exploration okay this time uh, we are going to do regional uh, analysis okay so uh, it will help us understand how different regions perform over time and we'll go countries by regions such as Europe Asia and analyze their performance okay so um, I will, yeah, just and paste here. And uh, first of all, it will map all of the countries into uh, each continent, okay? And after that, it will take the the average of um, uh, three subjects, as you see, region mapping: Australia, Oceania, Austria, Europe. Just like this, each country is assigned to a region. Mostly, we have European countries here. And after that, it will uh, it will have the mean of a subject for each region. Uh, I think it's not very uh, how to say uh, accurate because the number of countries are not not uh, equal in each region. But anyway, for the sake of uh, visualization, we will do it. But of course, you can always uh, do a better tuning and with better data set. Let's run it. Okay right now all right so here we have we have legend asia this is asia we have europe here north america is here and oceania is here uh, south america is here so it looks like uh oceania is performing the best but there was only one country i don't think it's uh, accurate to say that secondly we have europe Okay, this is this is a trend over there. In, in Asia, there's uh, there's uh, up and down, all right. But eventually, in 2018, they were uh, about at the same point, right? Uh, yeah. So the regional analysis uh, highlights the significant differences you see uh, in performance trends across regions. So providing insights into regional strengths and areas for improvement. To wrap up, we have found some amazing insights without writing any code, thanks to Gemini in Collab. 
We explored the uh, PISA dataset and integrated economic data and performed various analysis to uncover interesting trends and relationships. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on this video. Your support helps us create uh, more valuable content. Check the description for the links uh, to the dataset and the notebook, and stay tuned for more exciting content.